good. Getting into that. We're back. I have my hip. Mm, pardon me. Uh, Bukiti's actually the one that's out and about right now, but I don't know. Well, she's actually walking down here, right here. I'm going to come up, Boo. Hi, Boo. Hmm. This needs to go back a bit further so you can get the true awesomeness of the Bukiti. Right, Boo? I still have my broken D padded Exponent controller, and let's get started. Oh, Bukiti's coming on my lap. Would you like me to push back slightly so you have more lap space? We might just have a Bukiti on my lap instead. We'll find out. Anyway, where we last left off, which for me was all of like five minutes ago, maybe ten, is that we just arrived at the train station in Guild Galad, having saved Noel, the Guild Galad, uh, the young Guild Galad master. Guild Galad's an industrial state that developed from a collection of small f factories. I still can't speak, so that hasn't changed at all. Blue Kitty's being very cute, but just off camera. All right. Can you tell that there's a road here? But we're in brand new territory, by the way. I'm just following the yellow brick road. Yep, this is obviously not natural. I'm coming here anyway because I felt like it. Nope, nothing down there, at least not yet. I actually know where Gilgalad is. Yep, Buki decided to curl up on my lap. That's okay. I like how because I was stepping on the beach, there were like footprints by my feet. The heck are you, Zabat? Oop, I did not actually mean to run away. Whoops. All I was doing was checking to see if Ashley was still confused. Not confused, I keep saying that. I'm just exploring. I don't get to explore very often anymore. Death tiles! Why the hell are those death tiles? I don't know. I'm going to assume that they're probably strong against all forms of magic. Yep, and they cast Protect on top of it. High Spark! Holy crap! Extended High Heal? I don't know if I've ever noticed an enemy cast that before. I don't think I can fight them. Holy crap, these things are powerful! I'm glad I save stated just in case, but. Ah, uh, yeah, please let me run. Thank you. Ow! Maybe I shouldn't go exploring since I don't have any non caster in my party right now. Anyway, Guild Galad's up here. Two I might be able to take on. Maybe. I'm just gonna heal up. I wasn't actually expecting Loka to go that fast. Oh well. Apparently it's all healing? No. You cast regular flame. Run? Yeah, th that's scary right now. I can't take that. This is where Guild Galad is. It's on reclaimed land, so this is not natural. Nothing about Guild Galad is natural. Also, has one of the best town musics in the game, in my mind. Welcome to Guild Galad. If this looks an awful lot like Midgar from Final Fantasy VII, there's a reason.
It's nowhere near as large as Midgar from Final Fantasy VII. I should specify that. <laughs> Giant dragon. Fossil. Blue Kitty, I appreciate you here, but my legs are going to need to rotate at some point. But yeah, this place is huge for a city in Wild Arms, too. So yeah, my guess, now that I'm thinking about it, is that this is based off of Kualun Walled City. I did not hire you to escort my son, so you can wreck my property! Father! Father, you mustn't be so rude to them. The only reason why I made it back home safely to kill Galad is that, arm, that the arms team protected my life with such valor and tireless effort. Since I say, why do you have to unpause the fight cars? Uh, it was to save the lives of all on board. Seriously, they did the right thing. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Father, why are you so upset about what happened? I am safe, am I not? Was it the freight cars that Odessa was after and not me? Again, Noel is smart and is a genuinely nice person. It's quite possibly one of the first ones of those that we found. Now, actually, the Queen of Silverland is, generally, is a genuinely nice person, too. And most other NPCs are just kind of neutral. But, well, we've had a bad taste in our mouth from a lot of NPCs. Named ones, that is. Uh, she how dare you? I... I just... Those golden jewels were but a drop in your ocean of wealth. Unless there was something else, of course. Did you acquire a new... Yep. Nuclear Proliferation Treaty is not very effective when the country that it was built from for is not there anymore. And I was told that it's not Escargo, which is the um, snail type thing. I was saying Escargo, not Escargo, but it's not actually supposed to be pronounced that way. It's good to know. No, you must understand. I. Oh, this changes everything. Gotta apologize to you. There is no reason for you to be blamed. This is Guild Galad really screwing up. Holy crap, did we screw up. I don't get it. What's going on? Father was trying to sneak a weapon into the country on that train. I suspect it was at least technology weapon unearthed in secrecy. But the weapon fell into the hands of Odessa. That's why they were attacking. Ah. I see. I don't like being deceived. Pisses me off, in fact. But, well, they have it. We need to focus on getting it out of their hands, right? We have to thwart whatever evil scheme Odessa is planning with that super weapon. Thank you. At least someone understands what's going on. As a son of... Guild Galad Master, I can think of nothing better than for you to say that. What about the super weapon? How powerful is it exactly? Ah, uh, Father? You can have the best up at this point, because... Yeah. So, you should see the majesty of Bukini. Only they can help us now, because you didn't tell me, and you sent your only son on a train trip that you knew was going to be attacked by Odessa. Guild Galad Master is a dick. Irving's still more of a dick. It's not by much. <laughs> Super weapon was found on an old battlefield in Slayheim. It's... Monty Python's flying circuit. No, sorry. <laughs> yes! Nuclear weapons! Nuke? Oh, sorry. Nuke? Water! 
weapons using nuclear technology, the pride of the lost technology, nuclear energy, the pride of the lost technology. They're super weapons that apply the theory that mass is converted to energy in a chain reaction. Oh yeah, I forgot the whole um, content warning nuclear weapons thing. I'll make sure it's posted in the description. Mm, the dynamics are completely different from my magic powers. Nuclear weapons, the unwanted byproduct of industrial sorcery. They don't exist, do they? Industrial sorcery. Boo kitty, what are you doing? She just cried out. Hmm, if they're so powerful, the joy of the field can't be that great. Nukes are powerful, but their value is not their power. That's right. The super weapons that affect the balance of power are valuable only for their deterrent value. <laughs> the world is now in my hands. Once I have the aerial fortress, the Heimdall Gazo, and the nuclear weapon Grauschwein. Grauschwein? Grauschwein? My German's terrible. You're going to have to correct me. Somebody out there. Because, oh boy, does this game mix a whole bunch of real-world culture. So yeah, Slayheim is basically supposed to represent Marika. But Guild Galad also has parts of Marika and parts of China in it. Odessa wants to conquer the world. They would never use a nuke. Oh yeah? What makes you so sure? Yeah, why would they steal a weapon they never intend to use? A nuclear weapon can lay waste to a huge area. Destroys all life and renders the land eternally uninhabitable. Yeah, um, the Japanese would kind of know about that type of thing. Why would Odisha wish? Uh, why would Odisha wish to rule a barren, lifeless world? They wanted the nuke as a threat. <sighs> I too sought the nuclear weapon as a deterrent, which to counter Odisha's threat. Draw Odessa is the, sure to use its nuclear weapon at the bargaining table. Mm. Odessa means to intimidate the other nations. We must stop them. Ashley, what is it? Oh, nothing. Um, it just occurred to me that the domination Odessa seeks is truly a formidable task. Huh? What on earth are you talking about? On our many missions, we've come across so many different people. All had their own ideas, their own ways of doing things. Only stating the obvious, of course, but even people who shared the same goal used different methods to achieve that goal. In short, no two people think alike. Accordingly, the world words like conquer and dominate mean different things to different people. I get what you're getting at now. World domination may sound like a lofty goal. But the day-to-day -day job of actually ruling the world would be fraught with overwhelming difficulty. This is one of those... This is where the Wild Arms series starts breaking its cliches. Yes, we have this evil terrorist organization out for world domination. And the characters realize that it's like... Are you kidding me? How the hell are you going to control the world? Do you have any idea how freaking many cultures there are? And how many different ways there are of doing things? And just the day-to-day -day minutia of being able to control the world? That would be a disaster. Holy crap, do you even know what you're doing? Each area has their own customs, their own industry, their own laws, their own ways of thinking. Simply too much diversity in the world for the world to be ruled by any one group. In this light, world domination is just an unrealistic dream. But we've got Odessa, who's trying to do exactly that. Well, yeah, the future is uncertain, but what's certain is that Odysseus is causing suffering now. Gotta stop them. Gotta destroy them. Yeah. Well, Go Galad will provide you with any backup you need. Isn't that right, father? Yep, 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 you got me there. We're gonna upgrade your hovercraft. We'll give it an A port feature. It's kind of like the teleport orb, but you'll be able to go anywhere in the Seas of Philgaia now. So basically, when I use the teleport orb, it moves the hovercraft with me now, so I can actually explore the outer ocean. 
Which means this is the point of the game that we now can do all sorts of things. It's not the flying machine stage of the game, but we're getting close. Alright. I like taking walks. There are many types of vehicles in Gilgalad, but I still prefer walking. Nope, that's not the way I wanted to go. Yeah, this has got to be Kualun Malt City. I'm supposed to meet my husband and my boyfriend here, but he's late as usual. What are we going to be doing anyway? It's a very windy path. This is definitely Kuala and Walt City. I don't know why I was thinking this one was Marika. But, we're here to use a duplicator. Four treasure chests. Crest Graph? Crest Graph. Crest Graph and Crest Graph. Nice. This place is a giant maze, by the way. That Noel is only 13 years old. It's he and I are only three years apart. Can you believe it? I swear, Noel makes a much better partner for Luca than anybody else, and Luca doesn't even demonstrate any sort of affection other than hey, look, this guy's not a complete idiot. What is taking her so long? Oh well, if I stay here, I guess she'll show up eventually. So yeah, the boyfriend and girlfriend are both lost, basically. I find that funny. Anyway, we're going back to the throne room at this point. Oops, that was the wrong way. It's this way. And then to the right is the throne room. Basically, there's a few items that we need to make sure that we pick up now type of thing. Hey, look, it's a TV. Yep, just television. They have full on technology and electricity. I'll bet your, many of your weapons were originally made in Guild Galad. Yep, they are weaponsmiths. I'm the caretaker of this library. Some disrespectful whippersnappers called me the lord of the library. Oh, you're not much of a lord when you block most of the bookshelves. An architect's mutterings. What's on a dragon's back? What? What is on a dragon's back? That sounds like a riddle. Okay, that gets down there. Wait. I seem to remember. Yep. Press away. Somewhere a door was just opened. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of secret things here. Like this room. Our second crest graph. Or a crest cap. Yes. All right. I'm going to keep exploring for a bit. That's at secret room six. Where's secret room five? Their little chapel. Each day, I try to find one thing to be grateful for. I'm busy looking for something right now. I'm grateful to be grateful for things. 
I don't quite understand the Tortier everywhere. It's more diverse here than in other towns. That's what I like about this town. Like I said, I like this place. It's just a little confusing to find things, usually. I heard some peddlers are gossiping that Odessa has its sights set on some mining town. Maybe they do. I feel as if I deceived you. Okay. We have a whole bunch of things that we're basically going to be working on. Because, uh, yeah. We've got a difficult fight for us coming up. And there's going to be a whole bunch of prep that we need to do in order to make this work. But first, we need to hit the shops. Say, by the way you're dressed, I'm pretty sure you're not from around here. Hearing Bill Galad, city state of industry, people dress flashier. You can tell from my drab clothing right here. Are you looking for a room? If you stay at our inn often enough, something good might happen. That is actually true, by the way. I will be staying at the inn. But first, shops. Personal skills are handy. Use them and you'll see why. Try one out and find out. I don't have enough to do anything yet. That girl at the inn is really cute. Wish I had a chance to strike up a conversation with her. You should go down and ask instead of being a creeper. No creepers. Press rosary. There we go. I don't know why they put a magic shop in an industrial city. Buy a spell out of sympathy, please. Except you don't actually spend money. However, these are all level one spells. We don't care about the level one spells. I thought we had... Shouldn't I be able to buy level two spells here? Hmm. Maybe there's two different crush shops here. Reload. Could have swore there was level two magic here. Uh, let's do that last. Okay, let me look at the list of things that I have to do before prepping. I'll just leave and come back. Wait, I didn't even see the item shop. I know there was more than I was missing there. There we go. Your regular items, right? Yeah. I'm fine on those. Do I need to upgrade Ashley? Okay, it says I shouldn't even bother buying weapons. I should only bother with armor. And specifically, only armor for Lilka and for Tim. Notice that we don't even have an option for armor for Brad anymore. Um, wait, hold on a moment. I mean, honestly, their weapons aren't that big of a deal, but dang it, I'm going to buy them anyway. So I don't know what I can Mystic, because I can't Mystic all that much in this game. If you haven't noticed, I haven't really been using Mystic that much. Okay, I don't know where the level 2 magic is. I'm just going to teleport and grab it that way.
Oh, that's teleporting to where I'm at. Good job, me. A+. Plus. How about you try the island outpost? Alright, so what do I need specifically? High break. Done. Might as well get Hyper Weapon. It's one of the best spells in the game. Um, slow down and... Reduces magic resistance for a group. Halves elemental damage. Armor down, I guess, maybe? Nah, let's go with high freeze. Also... We're actually going to erase that crest graph. And we are instead going to bind, is it two high breaks? I'm actually not sure. I'm gonna go with hyper weapon. Let me look further down to make sure. Let's start at teleporting. So, first off, let's teleport out to Holst. We're getting some Guardians, by the way. Holst, which is way out in the middle of nowhere. But you notice that that arrived. Our hovercraft. So we're now out in the outer sea. Right... There's our objective. Meow. Dark reason. Booty call. That looks mysterious and ominous. That's apparently what that does. Cool. Don't understand why this is sitting here. Whole bunch of different doors to choose between. Cool. Wish I knew about any of them. Well, not going that way anymore. And that closes. And so does that. And so does that. Ah, uh, it's the last door. Hmm. 
Okay. I think I need to specifically do this in this order. Because I think I have to hit all of them. It's been a long time since I've done this, so I don't remember for sure. Nope, I don't have to hit all of them. And here we are. The curtain of night enclosing is Latea Salk's dark reason. Accept it without fear. Darkness Guardian! To judge in darkness is to defy reason. Those who live in reason will bring rest and calm. Matea Salk appears to have sorcery and speed. Nice. And what do we have for spells for Tim? Let's take a look, because I don't remember anymore. Black Gate, which is a a normal darkness attack, and the group darkness attack. Nice. So, yep, we're going to need 20 battles in darkness form. That's fine. We can do that. I wish I had a teleport spell to get out of here. At least it's not hard to get out. Alright, that's one. We've got three total that we're doing, by the way. Next one, we need to teleport to helmets. I don't think there's anything we need to do in here. Just need to get onto the hovercraft. There it is. We're just going across the little channel area. Just to here. And that's our destination. See? Nice and simple. We're going to the abandoned dice box. Guess what type of guardian we get here! The brave guardian of snow, the quiet sleeping refrigerator dreams in the back of the cold stone floor. We've got loot here, though. Today is the beginning. The endless blue sky and spreading deep forest. Essence of a tranquil golden era. Ooh, lots of loot. And monsters. Mystical pots! I actually have no idea what those are. Mystical pot. Level 25. No weakness. Om ominously inquire. Ominous. For some reason I have a really hard time saying that word. I have to think about it. Death did. And we gained a lucky card? What the hell? I don't remember these enemies. wonder if they're special ones. We'll have to come back here later. I'm getting those items, by the way. If it wasn't obvious. Sorcery apple. Oh yeah, actually... I should be having Tim kill everything, shouldn't I? Space Emperor! Space Emperor, really? Bonk. Space Emperor.
Strength Apple. Nice. Yeah, all of these tiny mini dungeons are pretty simply laid out, but they're frequently puzzle dungeons. This one does not really appear to be a puzzle dungeon yet. On the second day of battle, roaring flames burn the earth. A dark era of overflowing grief visits. We might be getting a little bit of background history into Filgaia. Or at least this Filgaia. Kerberos! Are you going to encrypt things for me? Reaper's lullaby! Crap, we're going to sleep. Or are you just killing Lilka? You didn't kill Lilka. Gerberos. Level 32. 480 hit points. Not weak against anything. Significantly higher level than I am. Wings of Death! Let's try it again, shall we? Ooh, that's a green sleep. That's poison and sleep? I've never seen that status. That's a really interesting ability. And you're instant deathing me. Or no, you're just doing more Reaper's Lullaby. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I've been here before because I know I've gotten all of Tim's abilities. So I know I've gotten all the Guardians. But what the heck? I'm really confused now. It's certainly possible that I never encountered that battle, but... On the last day, a rough, wild snow blows, covering the world in white, as if returning to nothing. Puka. Lucky card. Nice. And a second lucky card. Got a lot of lucky cards. I plan on using them, but I want to use them a little bit later. Okay. First day was green. Then red. Then white. Ah. Uh... I don't remember any other colors, do you? Okay, I gotta reread those things then. Let's go back to the start. Which should not take me very long to get to, even with random encounters. Because this dungeon's not that big. Ain't no laws when drinking claws. Ominously fire. And Space Emperor! Ominously inquire. I get the funny feeling this is something that I'm going to be splitting later on. So, there is an ability later on in the game that allows you to take one enemy and divides their level in half. And you get two enemies of the half level. And there's a lot of weird enemies that you can end up encountering as a result of the split. I have a hunch that's a split enemy.
Ah, uh, okay. Blue, green, gold. Blue, green, gold. I wasn't paying attention, that's my bad. Blue, green, gold. So blue, green, gold. Fire, darkness. Blue, green, gold, red, black. Blue, green, gold, red, black. White. Blue, green, gold, red, black, white. Blue, green, gold, red, I guess this counts as black, white. There we go. I just need to pay more attention. You probably already figured it out before I did because I'm not all that with it today for some reason. And then Bam Guardian. Aru Sopao. Aru Sol Solato? Aru Solato. Guardian of Snow. I will respond to your call. My freezing, silent world. My powers in an almost eternal world purifies the evil ones. So what do you give? You are... Looks like just strength. With power charge as an ability. And your abilities on Tim include Ice Beam and Arctic. I only need one more kill for snow. Let's blow this popsicle stand and go on to the next one. It's probably going to be this entire video is me just prepping for the disaster that's the next one. Oops. Because I'm going to need to level up Ashley finally. It is not... Without an extreme amount of luck, it is not possible to do the next sequence with Ashley at level 3. And by an extreme amount, I mean manipulating every possible event where Ashley is dodging, basically. It's not viable. Blackgate can now be used. Nice. We will have to see what that looks like. Bonk. Does it have teeth in its top? That's creepy. See what Blackgate looks like. Okay. Kind of cool. A little on the slow side, so I'm probably not going to use that very often. All right. Now it's time to go to Guild Galad. Why I need to do it in this order, I have no idea, but unfortunately, we're going to have to give up Ashley's forgetfulness at this point, and since we need to level up a little bit anyway, not that big of a deal. I'm repeatedly saving because, ugh, can't believe I'm doing this. How do you like this town? A little livelier than the other places, yes? Stay the night and see the sights. It's the first time that we've actually stayed the night at an inn, isn't it? We need to do this four times, by the way. Because I believe she will say, yeah, if you stay often enough.
three. Out of curiosity, what are our locks like? Bad, best, normal. Not greatest, not terrible. How do you do, ARMS members? Thank you for giving my humble in your business. Since you're such good customers, I'll tell you something I heard from a merc. Apparently, there are ruins on an island to the southwest of the large island southeast of here. May just be a rumor, but you never know! Alright. We want to go to Baskar for this. Because that's actually where we're talking about, so... So keep in mind, Ashley is allowed to gain XP at this point. So things are dangerous. So where we're actually going is here. Sail west along the landmass. But this is just the interior sea. Which is good for us, because if we do have a random encounter, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, it's the th place that I keep thinking there was something supposed to be there. Okay. I know where it's talking about. It's here. I can't believe I'm actually going to have experience. Caloric Nova! That looks really impressive. It actually hit really hard. What the hell? A bio laser. I keep forgetting to actually use Dig Out. Stupid carbuncles are freaking hitting hard. Holy crap. More caloric novas. Good thing I'm using Livehorn. Hey, it's the Mullicorn, as in Mullet Unicorn. Still didn't fully heal. Lucas twenty-seven actually hit five. Okay, that's fine. Because we want to make sure that we're doing this in three level increments, after all. So it's level six that we need to stop. <sighs> There's seriously no way of doing this without leveling up Ashley. Shining Garden, which was a place in Wild Arms 1, may I note. Teleport. And it is in fact the same place as in the one in Wild Arms 1. The sun rises from the east and sinks to the west, and then tomorrow comes. Those lost on the road look back on the path that you've come. The land that you search for is there. Rises in the east... Sets in the west. Then return. The truth isn't always right before your eyes. Get away and look across for the truth to desired to appear. That says Ray, by the way. R-A-Y, if you can't see it. Soft voice is echoing. It clears the confusion and shows the path. Beckoning it here won't open the door, blocking the way. 
Reply to the end question asked, yes. Ray! Because we saw the answer. The light won't open the door. But the door opens anyway. I'm pretty sure that's a translation issue. By the way, there's random encounters in each of these dungeons. We just have been avoiding them, other than the last one. So, I am the Guardian of Light, Starry Row. I will entrust you with my power of light. I will entrust my power of light to you. I can read, I swear. Starry Row acquired. The power that brings light to clear the way of the darkness. If you need me, I will respond. Yeah, this is a much shorter version of uh, the Garden. So let's take a look at Starry Row. Starry Row is attack and defense. Which, while nice, not something I want right now. I will almost certainly want it in not that long. Um, and then abilities are going to be light-based ones. Who would have thought? Nova Rain and Arrow Shot. So we need to work on those. If we can go through any of them and it brings us back to the beginning. Yep. And then shuts. That's it. There's a statue here. So, I have a um, interesting theory that this is the. St so you remember that we were originally supposed to go to the Sacred Garden for finding an item for proposing marriage. I have a hunch that this is actually a statue of the woman that um, Pedo Pants wanted to marry. It's just a theory. I don't have anything basing it on other than it's the same location with the statue. It's probably wrong. Okay. We need to level up Ashley one more time. To get him to six. Now, one thing that I don't like about the low level guide is that it only brought this up now, right before we need to do it. When, in reality... We could have actually leveled him up to 9 earlier, and that would have made things easier for us. Because there's... Or after getting Tim, that is. Because once we got Tim, there's no character in between us, so we might as well level him up at that point. So, let's level him up a little more, as into 6. That's the reason why I've come here, because I know that these enemies are actually appropriate level. That is frightening. Sorry, <laughs> got distracted. That's right, they're actually strong against wind, aren't they? I don't think it matters. Horn spike, you missed. Actually, you know what? Dig. Toy hammer, 100 XP, actually hit six. That's what we wanted. Now we'll teleport to a town, increase the uh, HP up, and keep going. Mm, we haven't been to Mariable lately. Let's do that. It helps that I know where everything's at right off the top of my head. I used to know Guild Galad like this for reference. That's why I always went to Guild Galad. Oh, right, that's what I was going to do. I was going to figure out... Uh, well, I'm just going to use one of the saves. That's fine. I was going to figure out how much Restore HP actually does. I was going to do a Let's Analyze, basically. But I can do that for many of my saves, so that's not a big deal. All right, we need to level them up three more levels.
All right. Um. Let's see, we can go past Silverland at this point. Let's go to. I don't know. Silge. Silly. Satan State. I don't want to accidentally level up more three times. This might actually be appropriate level. War Respite. Nice! I didn't realize I could dig those. That's, um... Reflessia from Wild Arms 1, so it's, uh... Whatchamacallit, Cure All Status Effects, if I remember right. Easy way to find out. Yep, Cures All Status Effects. Good job, Loka. Good job. Red Butte against the White Fear. Actually hit 7, okay. I mean, it's triple the amount of XP. I might be able to go a little faster than that. I don't know, let's take a look at how- okay, Ashley needs another 130 to level up. Yeah, no, I should probably just stay here. I feel so bad about grinding Ashley, but it's not viable for me to really, um, do this. Otherwise. And the reason being is really simple. If if I'm relying on so much luck that I am just... I mean, you saw the one battle that I had to... Uh, the two battles I've had to rely on luck really heavily for the... Oh, by the way, these attacks just do instant death. And that's just one attack doing instant death. Imagine if it's like five of six attacks doing instant death. That's the type of thing I'd be experiencing otherwise. And I don't want to do that. So... That's why I'm doing this. Yeah, nothing's doing damage to Tim right now, which is nice. Allows me to build up my kills. Violet Rose this time, okay. Ah, Dark Star got mastered. Ooh, that actually did damage. Well, now that Tim's done with that, let's go with... Oh, that's right, I wanted to show... Um, Counterattack. That's what that does. So basically, when an opponent attacks you, you automatically counterattack at their strength. I've never used it. Maybe I should. Starry Row? Nah. Let's go with Ice. It's appropriate. Or, no, excuse me. I already did that. Actually, look, I can heal. Not that we're really damaged, but it might as well. And this is Power Charge, which is, I use up my action, but next turn I get a um, more powerful attack. Not that I'm using that. I'm just doing this so I can start leveling up Snow. 495 XP, actually hit 9. That's where we wanted to, what I wanted to see. Ah, uh, teleport back to Maria. <laughs> we are at an hour. So I'm going to need to do some grinding. Uh, not necessarily for Ashley to level. I specifically need to grind for other reasons. Although now I'm not as concerned about Ashley leveling up too quickly. I just want him to stay. I'm trying to level him up to 13 or 14. Probably 14. 14 is the safer answer. Um, so, but I'm also going to be fighting some very weird enemies. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to continue recording. You continue watching. But this is the end of the video for all intents and purposes. Um, all I'm going to be doing is grinding. 
There's no plot or anything like that. Although, if you want to see some very strange grinding, cool. Um, yep. It's going to be a little weird, but we will do that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Are the viewers gone yet? Okay. So, yeah, this is going to be a really weird battle. Um, so I want, so there's two ways of setting this up, and the other one is going to be faster, but it's going to be a lot harder to deal with. I'm a little concerned about leveling up a little too fast, but let's find out, so... Supposed to teleport to Valeria Chateau and then teleport to the hovercraft. I don't know why I need to do that. The hovercraft is already there, but whatever. We're actually going to be going to the island that we briefly visited before and ran away screaming from because it is super powerful. Because we're not supposed to be here until the end of the game, basically. Um. Do -do -do. Middle of the inlet, inner sea, small island with a beach. I believe it's this island here. Yeah. So, this actually has enemies that are endgame like. It is possible to find endgame random encounters in here. Uh, Wojanoid. Wojanoids, for reference, are. We encountered those at the end of Wild Arms 1. And an os. Those are not the enemies that I want. I don't know if we can take them, but I'm going to try. No, actually, I'm going to equip Stole Dark and Scan. Instant death, cool. 41. Oof. I should have taken normal revive. Oh well. I'm probably dead anyway. Oh, I'm dead. This is why I save stated. I really don't know why I can access this island so early in the game. It's just death. Agawagdent? Agawagdent. Pallet swap of a different enemy. I'm gonna say lightning. Level 43. 2,000 hit points weak against ice.
Don't have ice yet, so Latin. Capillary Ray. Actually, didn't even level. Come on. Hmm. It's not the anti enemy I'm looking for, though. Hey, look! Necronomicons! Guess what we're going to be going after. Not aiming. Pentagon, okay. there we go. Prohibited spell! Oh, it's a drop. Pure literature. Temporarily equip Stole Dark. You're combining. You're going to analyze the Necronomicon. I have a hunch it's immune to everything. I desperately need the healing. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. <sighs> I meant to heal. I'm in trouble. I thought Odoric was equipped. Whoops. Well, we're going to Mystic now. Crap, I'm confused. This is ridiculous. Oh, come on!
Pretty sure I'm just dead. Alright, at least look this back up. Alright, healing. Healing's nice. I like healing. Oh, that actually revives people. Interesting. Did not realize that. I can actually equip the correct Guardians again. Got one down. Ashley, just get out of here. Bonk. Actually hit 11 and no drops. Damn it! That was a lot of work for nothing. I'm gonna end up putting Forgetful back on Ashley eventually. Whisk lover. That's also not what I'm looking for. No idea what they are. You have Shul Dark equipped. Tell me what they are. And then claw them. Daycrest. That's field, isn't it? Full body attack for... Ah! Level 42. 660 hit points. Weak against nothing. I'm boned. That must be a counter spell type thing. Yep, Tim's dead. That was a waste. That didn't happen. <laughs> Big snail. Ice Coven! You're very dead. 
Yeah, that's a four-digit attack starting with a five. This is one of the enemies I'm looking for. Unfortunately, this one's the extremely powerful one. <sighs> it's got 3,500 hit points and halves all elemental damage. Cool. That's what I wanted to see. Brilliant Buster to start. That one's not too bad. Some Saber going on. Tim, just attack because you can't do anything else right now. Second Brilliant Buster, I'm going to have to um, first aid next turn, which is fine. Spark. Or Saber, not Spark. First Aid. Krillian Buster, that's fine. As long as you keep up those, I'm okay. $3,500 dealt about two grand, okay. Because if at all possible, I would like Tim to kill it, but I'm not going to bank anything on it. Megaton Attack which is 1,788 damage. Tim can't take another hit like that. I'm gonna bank on him not doing that twice in a row because I don't really have much of a choice. He did it twice in a row, but he did it to the little guy and it missed anyway, so that's fine. Dead. 2000 XP, Tim hit 28, Ashley hit 12. Okay. That's... it didn't drop the thing I need. God damn it. Gastnoid first. These enemies are so weird. First hit because I am really low on hit points. You missed, that's good. Gastnoid first. 42. 650 hit points, weak against nothing. That's not too surprising. Gas Cloud, which missed. Spark does zero. Cool. I'm poisoned now. Was just mathing. That should be enough to kill euthanasia gas. Is it with everything and causing sleep? I mean, if I knew about these enemies, I can deal with it, but. Okay, good. Ominously inquire. Alright, I believe that also cures status effects from the Mullet Master. Yep. 
And that bonk should kill it? Yes. Okay. Ugh. Aren't you glad that you're not watching this at all? <sighs> not the thing I'm trying to kill. Actually hit 13. I need him to stop at 14, so I'll teleport out if that happens. Therian, okay. Let's get some protect. Uh, protect a little cut this time. And for shift. Saber. A bonk. Oh, come to think of it, I should have used the ability. Ooh, you can counter attack. Oh, it's counter attack for zero. Okay. A saber. A recharge. Brilliant Buster. Okay. Oh. Bonk. Bonk. Tim killed it. Level 14. Alright, that means that we need to run. Uh, now would not be a bad time to sleep, actually. I'm also grabbing personal skills for Ashley because I might as well. Uh, he definitely should have a parameter. Although, actually, I think I'm going to get him up physical defense instead. He'll probably need it, to be honest. Um, yeah, might as well heal at the end. Yeah, everybody's in prices are reasonable in this game. Alright, what are people's stats looking like? Bad, good, good. Worst, good, good. I'm basically going for either something where everybody has good plus luck, or Ashley having best luck. One of the two. It does have a best. I know it does for Wild Arms 1. I never thought about Wild Arms 2. Come on, I keep going to item. Because I'm used to being able to manipulate luck that way. Okay, there is a best. Bad, best, good. That's not too bad, actually. Let's go ahead and go to Silverland and get Ashley status effect to get 
it's that is affected again. Maybe I'll actually just stop recording because this is gonna take a while. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Bye again. Hopefully nobody's really watching. Bye.